based on this video, I uh, uh, based on my post here about uh, Vivek Murthy, I came with a proposition. I would like to come with a proposition. Um, I am really um, I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised with this stuff. Um, it's just that uh, I think uh, no, it did not go too far. It did not go too far because there's no such thing. It was proven to me that there is no such thing as going too far. There was certain people with a special interest involved in this extermination procedure, which uh, nothing really, when it comes to them, nothing really was something that one can consider as too far. Uh, from their point of view, everything is normal. Everything was normal. Everything was and is the way it's supposed to be. So um, I came with my own proposition in respect to this case. Just as I published something here in respect to uh, Vivek Murthy, uh, his parents are from India. Uh, I do like to ask U.S. government. In fact, I'm going to turn the camera on so that you can see me. Um, I would like to request U.S. government to. Well, in 2010, uh, India and China both deemed that I was uh, politically so incorrect that it didn't matter nor the length, nor the degree of extermination procedure which was taking place against me enough so that I would be, the procedure would be stopped once I started to talk about MKUltra. They opposed, they protested, they demanded from Americans uh, for this procedure to go on. Uh, of course, it was more than that. They were not the only one. But they were so politically correct, they were so um, worried, so scared about it, uh, that well, one thing led into another. Uh, more and more hatred came out of me, and in 2016 it was, right, when Donald Trump was elected, I think. Um, but there is something I'm going to say to you. Uh, you know, Adolf Hitler used to categorize that the one who brought Donald Trump on a picture who made Donald Trump surface in a picture where India and China. They did stick their nose in the world of the foreign affairs to degree that it would cause a lot of turmoil in the United States of America, in Canada. I don't know about Britain because Britain is Britain. Um, but they took absolutely no responsibility for it. It was like an elephant just walking inside of the porcelain store and just fucking crashing over, all over, do whatever, just as pleased, taking no responsibility for it, whatever. You know, Adolf Hitler used to categorize Jews uh, and other groups of people, such as the Roma people, uh, Slavic people um, into a separate categories from the Germans. And so, since uh, Vivek Murthy, a graduate from the Harvard, Harvard, a general, a surgeon general proposed that the video, so he labeled my videos as mentally ill, absolutely. Uh, and, uh, well, because, you know, <laughs> I mean, um, that's why, you know, that's why I'm going to make this proposition today. So, in a, in a, Hitler labeled certain minorities into a separate groups, apart from Hitler, uh, from Germans, uh, and it's, 
it was a special laws that started to apply to them foremost the idea was to keep them separate from you know from the rest of the community so that it would not the german blood would not intermix it would not uh, crossbreed with these groups so uh, the main purpose was to uh, desanitize uh, a race from getting polluted and so when I consider about it, it was nothing new, really. They had this kind of laws already before out of Hitler everywhere across the Western Europe. I mean, in, they had this in Britain, they had this in Holland, they had this uh, in colonial countries. Uh, they just wanted to keep their, uh, you know, blood as pure as possible. Uh, and so... Uh, <clears throat> a little bit difficult, right? Because you go to somebody's country and you colonize one. And uh, then all this, I mean, well, obviously. But, you know, with a Vivek Murthy, um, I should say India and China, <sighs> taking no responsibility, in my case, for anything and... Um, Coming up with a, such a pathetic act, you know, because he was literally hired by the British royals for this act of bravery. This eight year, eight year younger criminal, eight years younger than myself, I don't know what he had to pay. There's a lot of issues that apply to these immigrants. I myself happen to be immigrants from much more troubling background than these people they depict over there and you know how they cross from South America on foot and you know that's a fucking kiddies shit, really. The fucking toy shit. Uh, I don't know how the immigrants come, you know, but yeah, I told you about myself, how I came to America. I told you, well, the money that I earned in Slovenia, whatever, whichever way the fuck I earned, I ended up selling the car and buying myself a one-way ticket just so that I landed in some ship where a Serb was even a Metro D, assistant Metro D, Metro D. And next to the work I was doing on the ship, which required 18 hours on foot, it was like, I don't know if it was six hours that was not work. The rest was work on foot, running around for 500 US dollars and less. Average, did not even average 500 US dollars with the tips and with the salary per month. Uh, every day, seven days a week, and MK Ultra was taking place next to that stuff. My trip was not so easy, like the, yeah, the Los Emigrantes y todo eso que entra los Estados Unidos. You're fucking pusses. Yeah? Those of you come and post in front of me and this and that and then and what the fuck I and this and that. Yeah, yeah. You you all tested live and you all knew you all you know wow you know you just have a lot of people in Estados Unidos that protect your ass so that you you can do shit, basically. You can do crime. But other than that, ain't nothing special about it. It's special when you finish the school like I did, and you become some mechanical engineer and technician, and you end up like some fucking security officer, or doing some minimum wage jobs, applying to be a cleaner or something like that. So that you can be a competition to 
and I don't like doing this stuff, but literally to the Latin people that yet have to learn English and stuff like this. Don't fucking go and talk to me about your immigration matters and or Black Lives Matters and stuff like that. Don't fucking go and do that to me about discrimination and stuff like that. So, Vivek uh, Murthy uh, proposed today that uh, videos be rated uh, accordingly to severity of mental illness, <laughs> health awareness type of stuff. Uh, something that was immediately rebuffed by Americans as soon as he came out of this crazy head. Nobody liked this. Vivek Genius came up with this stuff sometimes in 2017, 2016. Uh, as primitive as it was, it was immediately approved by a British king now, Charles. He was very excited about and they did this stuff when they evaluated. It demonstrated a lot of stress on me. It was not in 2017. It was like in 2016, 2015, when he... 2015 it was. 2015. During Obama presidency, maybe even 2014, rated as a... Well, that's supposed to be used as something that he would use as an exit from his uh, Surgeon General career, you know. But, uh, you know, in, in MK Ultra, this, this was extremely powerful man because he was from India, you know, and, and uh, British royals don't know how to get into the ass to India. Yeah, it's very important, you know. Uh, and another issue is uh, Viva got married to the Chinese lady, and it was presented to me during MK Ultra like Chinese and Indian. And you know what that means? Yeah, what that means is that the, the two most powerful countries in the world, and anything you say or even think about, you will never get the MK Ultra and so on and so forth. It was all like this. This was the environment. Yeah. So I would propose American government since. We have a complete discord about the reality of this world. Nobody takes any kind of responsibility for their actions. To also create a special, to also start to categorize people based on their uh, origins, racial background, ethnic background, uh, to classify Chinese and Indian into a special category into the separate category from the rest of the community uh, so that we would not have uh, some sickness, illness, mental illness and viruses spreading to the rest of the population. It's basically to make sure that <laughs> it's to make sure that the rest of the population would stay safe. You know what I mean? Uh, that we would that we would match as much as possible this type of uh, the, you know surgeon general logic. Uh, we also want to be you know on that level. We don't. We want to make sure that you know that people, because United States of America is a multiracial society. And we would want to make sure. No, not against the Japanese or. Filipinos or wherever, uh, only if it's Chinese that we would make sure that that it's you know that there's something they display so that the people within the society are aware of. We would not have some viruses, mental illness spread into the rest of the population. In my case, it's actually proven they are mental illness. In my case, is actually beyond any doubt proven that they are carriers of the mental illness. It's 
no fucking responsibility for it. They engaged in torture, they sponsored torture, they tortured in China, they tortured in India, and they attempted to convince Canadian government, uh, which allowed them to go on and give themselves uh, freedom in torture throughout the Canada to see where this shit is gonna take, you know, and that's where the, that's how that stuff about Trudeau developed, that they realize about the criminal ring that's being spread throughout the Canada uh, came up and halt this type of uh, politics on a foreign soil, as it's uh, absolutely is damaging, absolutely is hurting, and absolutely is not normal. Um, so many Indian people, so many Chinese escaped from China and from India. That's got to be something wrong with this stuff. That's one thing. And they go to the United States of America on foot illegally. They cross the border. You're going to fucking tell me that you're straight because here inside, you're not fucking straight enough to give... Some people lesson about how their videos should be rated and boost the world of psychiatries through which you think you're going to conquer other countries literally within the system where your parents or yourself immigrated. To. For what? That's what I express. For better life or to engage in domestic terrorism? In my case, your people from the United States, your offsprings, engage also in international terrorism. Not only in domestic American terrorism on, on American soil. So, yes, I would like to have American government classify Indian nationals, Chinese nationals, their parents, if it applies so, and grandparents into a special registry uh, and have this displayed for the people in the United States of America whenever they interact uh, with the people that they clearly know uh, when they are dealing with a specific group of people with these disease carriers, disease spreaders in advance. How that sounds like that we we do also this stuff that we that we um, that we demonstrate the vital signs to China and to India that we still exist that we're not brain dead that we're not dead and we're not to about to let it go get the fuck away with it. They need to hold themselves responsible and like say some responsibility in that part of the world for the shit they do in other countries. If I wanted to immigrate to China and India, I would have had done that. The thing is, I did not. I chose the United States to immigrate to and or other countries. I am not going to be discussing if it's what is wrong with what is what's not wrong. We are now in 2010. Today is 2010. Psychiatrists claimed that I did not know what date it is. Of course I do. It's 2010. It says right there, it says 2010. When you become vital enough, when you start to respond concerns to the problems that you create in other countries at the United Nations and then we can talk about removing this type of restrictions so I hope United States of America government is going to take this in account and somebody will propose the Congress with this uh, idea so we do the same thing Vivek knew that his proposition is bullshit, not that it's going to fall short, that he is sick shit, 
but he went on to do it. So I don't see the reason why I wouldn't do it. Just because he is of a darker complexion, that doesn't mean that he is not a racist bigot, because he definitely is. The entire structure connected to the Black Lives Matters, connected to Chinese, to Indian influence from the outside, is as racist as hell, as racist as racist possibly can be. And I have a discord for that. I'm not going to go with it. I'm not down with this shit. I'm not down with this shit. If things are going to go like this, we're going to have a second round of Donald Trump. And even worse. Just for the Indian and for the Chinese nationals, uh, their ancestry and so on. I want to know how the fuck they feel about it. Maybe they're going to feel discomforted. Maybe they're not going to feel comfortable and they are going to appeal to the Chinese and to the Indian government to stay the fuck away from internal matters in other countries. That would be very helpful. That's one thing. If you can't help, then shut the fuck up. Mind your own business. Or maybe we're going to have a Chinese and Indian government politicians take responsibility for the crime against humanity which they created, in my case, if not in other cases. Psychiatry is not going to be your ultimate tool for now and forever. It's not going to happen. Look, I stood up. I fuck you like this in your face. Out of blue. You take kindness for granted. I was trying to be kind to you, but you don't understand because you learned about something else that can be done through this criminal politicians in the United States of America anyways. Joe Biden I'm talking about, together with your friends from London. You learn that it's possible to do, to get special things done through the special favors, through the special stuff. Well, I'm not done with this. I'm not down with this stuff. I'm just a regular human being, just a regular person. I wasn't born in the United States of America. I'm native of Slovenia. And finally, it doesn't matter. I don't like this kind of attitude. I'm not going to go down with it. And I'm going to kick you where it hurts for it. I don't care. I don't care. I wouldn't care less if it would be today my last day. I wouldn't give a three fuck about. 